Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 73, Football Manager 19. Well, I have uh, attended the interview for West Brom a couple of days ago, and as you can see, they have approached us with the job. So they're offering us a two-year deal at $1.69 million a year. Currently, I'm making $127 thousand a year um so a million and a half bucks more a year i think you have to take the job at that point i mean it would take me 20 years to make that much at my current salary rate something i don't know something like that 10, ten years let's say ten, math you know it's math but 10 plus years right to make what we can make in one year and we've got a two-year guaranteed contract seems seems like it should be a thing you know we'd, we'd really have to consider that right um let's see if i can drop that to 25 percent and can i get it to one seven i'm gonna take the deal man I don't think we have any choice. Um, okay, so before we jump into this, let's go back to Barnett. We are top of the table. Uh, let's see, schedule, just to play catch up. So we had played Millwall. Uh, we drew with Charlton. That was last episode. Drew with Charlton. So I had beaten Bradford City 1-0. Dion Pereira, 89th minute goal. Uh, it was a snow a snow game, so there was snow. Very, very tough sledding. Um, we end up with four players in double digits, 10 plus goals. 10 and 20, 10 and 30, 11 and 20, 11 and 15. Playing well and top of the table by three points. I think we had a shot at silverware, but this is an opportunity, right, to go to the Premier League, right? I don't, who is that? Hey, you. I, I just don't see the way to not do that, so... Um, but I do want to kind of keep an eye on, are there any of our players that we want to keep an eye on? Maybe Nick. Let's scout him. Kendra Simmons. He's probably not good enough, but still. Uh, Aaron Wilson is actually interesting. Jordan Stevens. Actually, you know what? I, I guess we should just uh, team reports. No transfer staff. Is there a way for me to scout? No, don't guess. Um, hey, you, you coming up here? I think everybody else is okay. All right. So anyway, we are leaving Barnett. So let's go take a look at our new club. I'm 42 in game. I wish I was 42. Uh, Barnett's getting 170,000 in compensation. So good for them. Oh, also... One of the things I wanted to see, I can't see their finances anymore, but they had positive money, right? Right? So that's good. All right. So welcome to West Brom. Uh, attend the meeting. We'll do this real quick. Uh, no. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, uh, yes, um, 
by general and individual training, uh, all squads, all squads, there we go. Uh, friendlies, I'll arrange the friendlies, but you take control because now I may not do that long term. I was doing that at the lower level because then I could try to get the higher income games, which was really helpful. All right, pep talks. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, match conferences, you can do it. Agent offers, don't filter out any offers. All right, How, where are you going? What are you doing? Figure it out, man, figure it out. All right, well, e exit here. All right, then get off, get off then. All right, transfer obligations. All right, these are guys that are loaned out. Okay, so we've got from West Brom to Bologna, from, God dang it. He stepped on the keyboard, man. All right, we've got a player, Andy Vernon from Arsenal. Man United has a player on our club. And then everybody else is out. Okay, that's fine. We have three weeks for Andy Vernon and Ryan Nyambi pulled hamstring. Four occurrences, really? Wow. All right, unhappy players, Matt Ingram. They already <laughs> wants first team soccer. Well, we'll look at him. He probably won't get it. Uh, let's see, we will accept your, all right, captains. All right. Recommend keep Garcia. So let's look at leadership. I'm okay with Garcia. I'm okay with that. We'll confirm. We'll keep that. All right. So I don't know anything about West Brom. Uh, like I said, I'm a Leeds fan. So Premier League, I don't follow any of these clubs. And I'm not a bandwagon guy just jumping on clubs because I can watch them on TV. In fact, it's killing me that I can't watch the Leeds game right now. Sheffield United won this morning and we were tied at half one to one. So I'm checking the score real quick. Oh my God. Wigan took the lead. No, my God. <sighs> Shit. A 62nd minute goal by Massey. So he's got a brace today. Fuck. We are just not going to make this easy, are we? All right, so we play at the Hawthorns. That's a cool name for the stadium. Uh, I don't need my headphones, but I was I was listening to some videos a little while ago. Um, they were at their best during the 1960s. So my birth actually led to the decline of West Brom, right? We have pretty good training facilities. Well, excellent, actually, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. The worst record, a recent away record. All right. West Brom in the last year. All right. Let's take a look real quick at my staff. So we actually are pretty shit, but my assistant coach, Tommy Johnson, he's actually pretty good. I like him. I like Tommy. We can we can work with Tommy. All right, so judge ability, but you know what I'm going to do? I am going to have uh, my head of youth development. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, 4141, 
Well, let me let me see. Let me take a look at the squad before I worry about tactics. I, I wanted to get my. Oh, you know what? I that's what I can do. Uh, over responsibilities, first team, auto picking team. I want that to be Mark Harrison because he is better, just better. That's it. All right, so that's good overall. Um, I'm going to let the president hire the general manager. Uh, I am going to let the GM do all of that. The only one I want is the assistant coach. Um, find. Yeah, I want to, I want to do all that. Signing. I want to do that and I want to do that transfers yes I'll do that as well I will let my GM do that and my head of youth development I will do that 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 and then my GM can do all the staff. Uh, Chief Scout, we can do that. Assistant coaches, you can do that. Uh, da, 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 you can do that. And you can do that. All right, so we've confirmed everything I want there. All right, let's take a look at the squad. So first off, we're 19th in the Premier. We were 18th when I was first linked to the job, so now we're in a little more dire straits. We're only three points behind Bournemouth, so we can make a run real quick. It's still early in the season. To Tottenham's doing really well. Tom ought to like that. Oh, Tom, by the way, now you'll get to see Tottenham games. <laughs> Since I never do Premier League. Uh, Manchester, Liverpool, Man United... Uh, Leicester, Arsenal's struggling. Bolton actually approaches about a job too, as did Bristol City. Um, I had already committed to the West Brom job, so uh, yeah. All right, so let's look at the squad and let's look by position. All right, we really do. Do not have a very good goalkeeper. Oh, first off, ability, potential. Yeah. All right, nobody's really jumping out. We do have a couple of good, good looking kids here. Striker, striker number 10, and a mid center, right and center back, and a goalkeeper, but not. All right, so <sighs> transfer window. That's January, yes? Yes? Am I correct in that? Uh, rules. Transfer window. Yes, January 1st. Okay. Um... 38 games, so we have, what, 20 games left. So we're almost to that. We're one game away from the halfway point. 17 foreign players. Okay. All right. Pretty small squad. Finances. We've only got $12 million in the bank. Wow. And we made $10 million this month. We sold some players. That kind of sucks. All right. Uh, we are at $93 million on our $97 million payroll. We've got $25 million left. Okay. So I don't really have a ton of room. Ugh. Player salaries, TV revenue. 11. 
So even taking out the player sold, we probably would have just barely turned a profit. So that means we don't want to get into a big buying frenzy. All right, but let's take a look here. So he'll he'll be our goalkeeper. Uh, hello, hello. Aren't I in charge of this team? Maybe. No, he's currently in charge of the team. That's new. Uh, responsibilities. First team. Pep talks. Auto picking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well... Okay, let's try something. All right, I'm just going to bring in my 4141 for right now. Okay, that's that's all I want to do right now. Let's go back to squad. All right, so we had to have a tactic selected. That's fine. Um, unregistered. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go here. All right, so Edson Alvarez and he's on international duty. Oh, he just dropped down. Uh, hefty, ooh, 639, that's not very good, dude. All right, you are 29, yeah. I can certainly see we're certainly not the 18, 19, 17, 18, 19 ratings that uh, I would expect in the Premier League, right? Now, he's got more pace, more acceleration, heading. All right, I like him. Let's go with Garcia. Now, is Garcia my best guy here? Maybe not. Okay, let's go with Melendo. Uh, um, hmm. What are your ratings? All right, what are your ratings? Boy, you can't cross for shit. All right, we're going to put you there. All right, you're actually pretty good. All right, mid-center. Sobe. Not great. It's hard to tell. It's, it's hard to tell at this point. All right, uh, you. Let's go ahead and pick our striker. Uh, actually, so you're going to be... What's your finishing? 15, 13. You've got really good pace. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I can uh, roll ability. There we go. Yeah, Coelho. Good. All right, winger. Finley. Robinson is injured. He's wanted. Is this the right guy? Am I sure that's... No, that is not the right guy. All right, Martley. All right. Why is that not resorting? All right, so Andy Vernon will be our starter, but he's out injured. So David Todd can go in. Uh, no, I guess he can't. What's his deal? Is he suspended? Is he not registered? Ben Sheaf. All right. Oh, I don't understand. What's the deal? Unregistered. Why are they unregistered? Okay. Filter. Uh, let's take out the unavailable guys. That, that'll that be helpful. Right? Don't put guys in there that I can't use anyway. All right. Your defensive mid. That's fine. Mid-center 
right, mid center left, but you're unregistered, so there we go. All right, just out of curiosity, let's uh, set our guidelines. Senior squad, U23, at least 90%. That's fine. All right. Boom. All right. So they're not very good. We're gonna be. We're gonna suffer a lot in the middle. Everywhere else we look okay. All right. If we load in our, we're gonna be underdogs a lot. Yeah. Anchor. Want to look at that one. And I want to look at that one. Okay, so that's attacking, attacking, counter press, distribute to fullbacks. There's something. Okay, there we go. Shorter passing, pass into space, low crosses, overlap left, right, lower tempo and sometimes time wasting. I could see wanting to time waste. All right, so let's see what that does. Pick, all right, we're still really weak here in the mid. Now, do we have Nartley? Okay, and Eric Garcia, no, maybe? Yeah, he's actually better as an anchor, but he is tired. All right, so that does make sense there. All right, so let's redo that. I'm going to delete this one. All right, we're going to clear that slot. Okay, um, so... What I want to do is we want to do one match, and I'm already way into this. So probably don't need to see all this. I'm going to go off camera, play around with this a little bit, and then we'll come back, and then we'll play our match. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I've got my tactics in. We're going to be going with the 4141 uh, that we can switch from the defensive mid to the number 10. Uh, that gave us some success in uh, our barnet save uh, we also have our 442 where we play with the volante and anchor i can move the anchor up to another volante if i want to uh, this is going to be another one that we look at and this is a new one that i just put in uh, I, I discovered this the other day uh, bust the net gets credit for this uh, whether it works or not so this one's a little different because these tactics really require minimal if any actual changes to the positions, this one requires a lot. So if we take a look here, for example, you can see we've edited in uh, several options for each position with the exception of the center backs. But even the inverted wing backs uh, have other things stuck in there. So there's also requirements for each position. We're going to have to address those moving forward. I, I do want to try the tactic at least um, and, and give it a whirl. Uh, and in looking at the familiarity, uh, let's turn this off here. In taking a look at the familiarity, uh, the marking tempo passing style is way down. On this one, uh, marking tempo width and passing style are way down. And on this one, Tempo is still awkward. Everything else is at least competent, except for passing style. So they appear they appear best suited to this one. Now we do not actually pick without restriction. So if we do that, we actually look a lot better, uh, except right here in the center. But because we are, we do have some tired players. Uh, we are going to be a little outmanned. That's okay. I'm not expecting to work miracles here. I just want to start trying to pull a few points. I've never used this tactic or this shape before, 
so it's going to be a little new to me. Uh, so we're going with Sam Johnstone. He's uh, got 19 apps. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll learn the players as we go. I mean, we are, let's see. I mean, we are right at basically mid-round of the season, right? We play Wolves in the FA Cup, but we're only going to play the one match today. So let's get to it and see how this works. We're playing West Ham. They want us to get to the fifth round of the FA Cup. And we are currently in the third round. And let's take a real quick look at dynamics. I don't think, you know, I shouldn't have anybody. 21 players, no opinions whatsoever. But our team leaders are so Sobe, Johnstone, and Olmo, Daniel Olmo. We've got a group of players highly influential and another group of influential players. So we'll get to that. Uh, squad dynamics. Introduce yourself to the squad. Uh, calm. All right. I strongly believe there's enough ability. All right. We have a good first meeting with the club. That's always good. <laughs> now we just need you guys to go out onto the field and make something happen. All right. All right. Match preview. All right. We are underdogs at home in a downpour with wind. And we're pretty dead even with this team, right? All right. Um, it's the same day. I'm assuming nothing's going to happen. That's fine. Let's get to it. Uh, our captains are off. We evidently have a bunch of guys that haven't played before. I guess we're playing a bunch of youngsters just because of the uh, physical condition of our players. So that would make sense. All right. Um, damn it. Okay, I need to change that again. I always screw that up. All right. Well, we will get to that. All right. We are wearing white. The prison uniforms, white and blue. Okay. Some good pressure on the defense here, holding them out, it looks like. So I like that. Nothing came of it. Oh, they got the first. Oh, here we go. Set piece. Matthew Target. Target. Second goal of the season. And we're up, buddies. Set piece goal. Get on in there. Uh, the uh, president of the club wants us to bring in young players. I'm okay with that because I like recruiting. I like uh, signing young players. So the premise of this say of this uh, tactic, according to Bust the Net, is that it is a Man City style uh tactic and movement we do have a sweeper keeper on attack and i will pause every once in a while just because i want to start kind of getting a look here oh there's a nice ball down the side crossed in oh cleared out picked up dropped in okay let's pause here and you mr cat say hi Need to come over here. All right, so we've got we basically have our our up top guy, and then we have these other guys. And what we want, according to Bust the Nets theory behind this, uh, when Man City plays balls in like we have to Finley, you basically want to draw a minimum of four players in the box area. So you can see he's got three around him. We have one-on-ones here, here. He's out of position, not marking anybody, giving us outlets. But this guy's also drifting over. And now we have basically a three-on-two or even a three-on-one opportunity. So that's... And there we go. So you saw 
You saw him pull the players out of position, and it left our guy open. Third goal of the season, and we're up 2-0. Bust the net. Kudos to you, sir. That worked just like he said it should. Keeping in mind, we are, you know, probably not up to speed all the way on this particular tactic. We're playing some younger players. Uh, now, he said he finished with Torino. He finished second in his league. And with Liverpool, he did not concede a single goal. Dan Danny o Oni goes wide. Now, the drawback of this tactic, again, going off of what uh, Bust the Net educated me on, is we do have the potential. Oh, nice forward header. Hold it up. Passed out to target. Oh, come on. Is we are susceptible to long shots from the edge of the box um, with the way that our. Okay. And, you know, we just got split there. Okay. Okay. You know, we take the good with the bad. And, you know, again, this is something we have to build the team into. We're really controlling possession, even though we don't have... Uh, I'm going to give them a little bit of praise. Hopefully we can hold on for the win. I was feeling a lot better at 2-0 than 2-1. All right, halftime. Give me a second. I do want to check the lead score. Just have to. Uh, fuck. We lost, damn it. That drops us into third position. God damn it. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> All right. I do want to change that. I need to make a note to do that. All right. Kickoff highlight. Not expecting anything here. All right, let's uh, get creative. All right, off the crossbar, upright it looked like. All right, playing from the back. All right, Olmo. Oh, come on. We need to do better than that. All right, uh, let's see. All right, mid-center. Who can come in for you? Marchant and Sharp. Let me look at those guys because I don't know anything about them. Your pace is horrible. Uh, you've got some decent pace, but that is my roaming playmaker. So I want dribbling, first touch, passing. All right, I think I'm going to play Marching in there. And Target's playing well. And I may mispronounce some of these names. That's okay. It could be Target, but it's Target for me. Um, attacking mid left. Mark Towers, 19. All right, you'll come in. You know, I still need to work out my sub patterns. I need to find out who my actual starters are. But to do that, I need to get everybody back up to full ability, you know. All right, crossed in. Nice block. Nice block away. All right, let's, uh, let's give them some praise. All right. Up to Asliani. Out the towers. He switches sides to Finley on the run. There's the... Oh, volley! Chikwuma! Fourth goal of the season. Two goal advantage. Get in there. Honestly, I wasn't sure how this tactic would work. I know, you know, I mean, Bust the Net is one of the top guys, so I've never actually used one of his tactics, so this is a first for me. Um... And it's not a downloadable. You actually have to plug it in there yourself. Uh, defensive left, Martin Thompson. Ooh, that's scary as hell. Joe Meredith. 
Okay, at least you can mark defensive right. All right, we're going to go with you with uh, da, 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 right there. All right. Now, you know the one thing, I'm not even sure not even sure what uh, mentality we're supposed to be on. Oh, come on. Into the keeper's hands. Oh, VA. Oh, I forgot we have VAR here. But we never get goals on VAR from what I hear. All right. That's fine. 15 to 7. Uh, we're going to get the win, boys. There it is. All right. We're going to be happy with that. Yes. 15 to 7 on shots. 8 on target. Five long shots. I'd like to tone that down a little bit. But, you know, one-third, that's not horrible. Uh, no chances, though. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Still, no chances, and we end up with three goals. There's nothing wrong with that. I can live with it, fellas. All right. The players are fired up, and the atmosphere among the squad is growing. And Leon is getting larger. <laughs> All right, well, that'll be our match. So uh, transfer window is going to be opening. I'm going to look and see. I've got to figure out who I want to use, who I can get rid of. Uh, Marchant makes professional debut. Ross disappointed at the humbling defeat. Uh, one appearance away. Oh, okay. So he's with Blackburn now. We'll get three and a half million. All right, you had two goals for... Four headers. Uh, superb in front of goal, buddy. All right, so schedule-wise, we get a win, and that ends a seven-match winless run. So that's huge. All right, we're still in relegation. We've made some space between us and Bristol. We're two points off of Bolton. And well, actually, we're two points off of 15th position. All right, so I guess we want to get to know the club. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play a hand. Let's let's play two. I'm gonna play two games. We'll come back for Tottenham and Stoke just to see. Oh, how many people did we have? I want to freak out. Oh my god, look at that 24,000 people in attendance. That's insane. Insane. Oh, transfers. You guys might know some of these players. Okay, so we got a lot of relig a lot of uh, transfer stuff. Uh, let's see. We brought in from Leverkusen, Nartney. He is a mid. Looks pretty good. Why wasn't he playing today? Is he unregistered for some reason? 18 appearances. He's a midfielder. He may have played. I just don't know the names yet. Uh, Niambi from Krasnodar for 16 million. He's a right back. Could be better. Jake Roberts Robinson from QPR for up to 17. He is that left winger inside forward. Okay. I can see him. He started uh Wait a minute. He played in League One. Oh, he's on loan. Why is he on loan? He looks like he's good enough to play for us, right? Hello? <laughs> Hello? All right, he's got five matches. He's got 18 starts. All right, Coelho from Independiente. From, he's an Argentinian. Five under 20 caps and two goals. He looks real good. Seven goals in 18 for Coelho. Andy Vernon from Arsenal. He's on loan. He's a midfielder, number 10, but he is injured, but he will be a starter. And then Steve Witt is another loaning from Man United. Uh, right and left back can play both sides. Uh, either foot, I like that. 
Anybody you guys recognize in here? I Chris Courtney, maybe. Adam Barton, maybe. Oldham. I, I'm sure I've seen him. So he's on loan at Oldham. So yeah, Oldham is in our other league. So I've play I've been playing against him. Probably Joe Burton at Chester too. Cool. Well, anyway, that's the moves this season. Uh, so I'm going to have to go look because we're getting to the transfer window. I need to figure out who we want to call back from loan, if anybody. Um, and then if there's anybody I definitely want to sell. And then if there's anybody I want to go after. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about the move to West Brom. Let me know what you think about Bust the Nets uh, tactic. And uh, we will keep on keeping on. Uh, let's see. Do I play Tottenham later in the season? I do not. Doesn't appear. We lost to them 3-0. So I guess I do want to get them on camera for Tom T, one of my FM viewers. Um, so, yeah, I'll play Wolves Southampton off camera. We'll come back for Tottenham and Stoke. And uh, so we'll see you guys shortly. Take care. Bye.